This is Exodus 21 and verse 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily, and the healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, no matter what people say or what they think, because we don't give a damn about your feelings. This is about the truth, and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, we will serve them the latter check this out right here sound of freedom is one of those films that can legitimately change this world so we want to ignite a fire in audiences and open their eyes to the dark reality of millions of children that need our help let's make this film a historic event and the start the end of child trafficking Theaters across this country are already selling out. Pre-order your tickets today and you can send the message that God's children are no longer for sale. Mm-hmm. So you saw that, all right? In a case anybody didn't know, that's the same guy, that same Edomite, that devil, you know, uh, old soft-spoken soft Christianity, right? That's that same devil that played in the movie, uh, The Passion of Christ, right? That's what the movie's called. You know, we don't like to use that C word or the J word, but it is what it is, all right? That same devil. And there's something that jumped out at me. That's why I read that scripture. As he said, no more will God's children be sold. <laughs> what a statement coming from a damn devil that played that played uh, uh, Jesus, they, you know, that he uh, he played Jesus. He didn't play Yahweh Shai because Jesus don't, it's like you, because Yahweh Shai don't look nothing like that. You know, didn't have long hair and he and he didn't act that way neither. He was an austere man. All right. So let's go here. You know what he say? Uh, God's children will no longer be sold. Oh, boy. Who are God's children? That's the question, isn't it? Zechariah 11 and verse 4. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. My power feed the flock of the slaughter. Verse five, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. You see, and he got the nerve to say something like God's children should no longer be, uh, be sold. But we are yet this day in our captivity. Is it, isn't that right? Isn't that the truth? Hmm. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them. Uh, sell them say blessed be the lord yahweh for i am rich and their own shepherds pity them not you see but he's gonna repay for all this let's read it again i gotta read this again exodus 21 and verse 16 just something through the you know real quick through the spirit and power of yahweh that you know that little uh four-part series or whatever you know uh, whatever the hell that is, some kind of Christianity garbage they always put out there. You got everybody thinking Yahweh Shai looks like a damn uh, a, 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 a so-called white dude with a British accent. Come on, man. Exodus 21, verse 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be what? Put to death. We are, are we not still here? Are the children of Israel not still up under the uh, the hand of Esau, Edom? Job 9, verse 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, the wicked man, the son of perdition that's being revealed daily hmm? through these Proverbs. You see, through the word of Yahweh, the mouthpiece of the prophets, that's how he's being revealed. He, and they hold themselves not guilty, right? Now, I understand this is going into... Tyree and Zidon, which are Hamites, but who they sell them to? To the Grecians? See? Joel 3 and verse 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Decision, right? And will plead with them there for my people. These are the, these are the children. These are God's children that he was speaking about, right? Huh. For my people and uh, for my people and for my heritage. Israel. 
when you inherit something, what happens? You you take them back. They get brought. They get brought to you. You inherit them. They become yours. You see, heritage Israel, which is a people before it's a place, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and parted my land. Who has scattered the? Uh, who has scattered the Israelites? You know, besides the uh, the musty armpit smelling Arabs and the Hamites. Hmm. Who did that? The wicked people, man. Esau eat them, right? The same one that had the nerve to uh, just, uh, blood, whatever the hell out of his mouth. Talking about the child, God's children would, would no longer be sold. Come on, man. Verse three. And they have cast lots. What does that mean? Auction blocks, right? And they have cast lots for my people, Israel, right? And I have given a and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. You see that? Verse four, yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? See? All right, and all the coast of Palestine will you render me a recompense, and if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I turn your will I return your recompense upon your own head? Mm -hmm. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold. These are his children. My silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly and pleasant things. Verse six. What does this say? The children also of Judah, southern kingdom, and the children of Jerusalem, northern kingdom, both. See, have ye sold unto the Grecians and to the Edomites that ye might remove them far from their border. Verse seven, behold, I will rise, uh, I will rise them out of the place where the ye have sold them in the land of their captivities. They shall remember themselves. Right. See, these are all in the scriptures. That's why we read. And the water to you, how about Shimei Shah for giving us the eyes of and making us understand what's going on here. All kinds of things are getting ready to happen. All right. You better stay rooted. Let's read it from the top again. Verse seven, behold, I will raise them out of the place. Rather, ye have sold them and return your recompense upon your own head. You see, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. And they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people afar off for the Lord. Yahweh has spoken it. He said it's going to happen. and It's going to happen. Whether you believe, understand it or forbear it or not. What you think and what you feel, it don't matter. Your ass is, is going into slavery. Just like Yahweh Bashim Yahushua said, right? <laughs> no longer will God's children be. Well, who's God's children? Revelation 11, verse 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. Who? God's children. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's children. And he chastises the ones that he loved. That's why, that's why we are last hired, first fired. That's why we own the bottom. And everybody's foot's on our freaking necks, man. That's why. OK. And they take all that, but then they want to take a man, a house and his heritage and a damn land. You got the nerve, Esau, eat them. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another. Because these two prophets, northern and southern kingdom, tormented them that dwell upon the earth. And that's what's happening right now. That's why they cutting our lessons, shadow being the hell out of us. You know, and when we don't give a shit or, you know, Salakia for the language, I mean, we don't give a damn. I'll say it that way about we don't give a damn about no views or nothing like that. We uh, as a matter of fact, we really not even deal with you because this is only for the elect anyway. But the scripture did say as many as ye shall find, bid them to the marriage. That's why we go out to the highways and byways. You understand? This ain't no entertainment bull crap. This is this ain't something that. Uh, that we do to, to, to get views and, and be seen of men. Damn all that, man. Our righteousness is a filthy rags. Again, I'm going to say it again. How about Shimei Yashai don't need us. But he sent us forth to tell you the things that are getting ready to come to pass upon this earth so you can be saved. So we can be saved. Get the hell up out of here, man. That's what's up. That's the truth. Revelation 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he got the nerve talking about God's children. And it's funny. I, well, who was it that uh, directed that? I think it was Mel Gibson directed that. The Passion of Christ. Give me a break. 
And you can see that demon. You, if you look at him, you can see he's got demons all over him. That dude's got demons all over him, man. You know, the guy, I forget what his name is. Daniel something. I think it's Daniel Shot 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 Sherevi or I don't give it doesn't matter what his name is who cares he's a damn devil Revelation 13 verse 10 I was surprised, I was surprised he's still alive mm -mm -mm. he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword here is the patience and the faith of the saints now that hasn't happened yet has it but for some reason there are, there's some there's some people over there in Israel talking about they the people of the book hmm when none of these prophecies and none of these curses fit you, worth a damn. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. We're going gonna to break you off a piece of your how about shimmy I was shy. All right? That's what's up, man. First John 2 and verse 1. So lucky, I don't know who that coming up the road is. I'm sitting in my truck right now. All right? My little... What does that say? My little children. Uh, these things write I unto you. That ye sin not, right? That ye sin not. It said, my little children. And, it, it, and if any man sin, we have an advocate with the father, Hamashiach Yahawashai, the righteous. That's heavy, man. That's, it, said, it, said, it, said, it said, my little children. It didn't say, Jesus loves the little children of the world. They want to teach you this. It's feel good. And, then, and, and when you understand the scriptures, it don't feel good. That's uh, they, they teaching you death. See, they teaching you death, man. All right. But, but he loves everybody and his cupcakes and cookies and Skittles. Nah, nah, it ain't going to work, man. It ain't going to work. You know, like I said, <laughs> woo, like I said in, in the last video I did earlier today was, you know, uh, did the. Uh, the, all, all the people, when, you know, when Noah entered into the ark, all the people that they have little pink and uh, purple and, and green floaties, and they just and they just floated until the, uh, all the indignation passed when the water when the waters recited. No, they all drowned and got ate up by the sea monsters, man. You see that? They got ate up by the sea monsters. The sharks, here it is, right there. I'll get to it. Again, I'm, I wasn't gonna make this too long anyhow. All right, come on. Come on, devil. Let's see. Let's see. John. Uh, chapter. Uh, ch ch chapter four. Let's see. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in faith. And who is walking in faith? Let's get it. I didn't plan on getting it, but I'll get it anyway. Yeah, it was Mel Gibson. I thought so. Let's see. Mm -mm, that's not what I wanted. Here, slock you. Here we go. That's what I wanted. I should know this scripture right off the top of my head, but I don't. Romans 1 and verse 17. Mm -mm. Uh, Hebrews 10 and verse 38. All right. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Right? It didn't it say the faithful. Let's go back. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in faith. What? My children walk in faith. Not everybody on this on this planet Earth. Not every uh, so-called child. And, and matter of fact, not every uh, so uh, child under the age of twelve, or you know, under the age of the flower, before the age of the flower, is a, is a, is a child. You, you got a 99, 100, 100 year old people out here that are Israelites that are children of Yahweh Shem Shai. Makes sense? Okay. These people are crazy, man. They put this in your head. Amos 3 and verse 2. Amos 3 and verse 1. Hear this word. The Lord Yahweh have spoken against you, O children of Israel. Children of Israel against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, will I punish you for all your iniquities? Again, like a good father does, he chastises his children when they go to hell off. I know I do mine. You see, I know I do mine. They go off. They got to be chastised and corrected. Why? So they can come back to, to, the, to the truth and be right and be righteous. 
See, can two walk together except they be agreed? The answer is no. It's held to the no. Now, here's that here's that dude. What was his name? Um, let's see, let's go here. Right. Jim uh, Cab Cabazel or something like that. Jim Cabazel. So I went to the images. That's that same dude, right? It's, this is that same dude that Mel Gibson. Uh, uh, Mel Gibson was the. Um, let's look at this. Look at this devil. Look at that. Look at that. Who the hell is that supposed to be? You got to be kidding me, man. You, they got the whole earth messed up and fooled. Oh, boy. Uh, what, what, what was his name? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Mel Gibson. He uh, directed Passion of Christ. That's right. And I typed this in or this came up. Yeah, Chris. J J Jivico or whatever the hell is and he done died you how about some y'all shot took him to the spirit world he played in that movie too died at age 48 from cancer he gave him cancer see yeah it was Mel Gibson right and this damn devil talking about all kinds of uh yeah I, I think he said something against Danny Glover and I believe Danny Glover was gonna make some kind of documentary and I forget what it was about but it was it, you know it would have been some kind of slave documentary, something like that. That they said, nah, you nigga, you can't do that. He was getting ready to tell too much truth, right? And if you watch those movies, I know I'm sort of rambling just a little bit, but if you pay attention, just pay attention to these things. You know, how about Shim Yao Shah said he he would make us watch, man. We watch for everything, man. Everything. But if you watch those movies, uh, Lethal Weapons, you know, he was he was always making Danny Glover to, to be some kind of like little wussy. When Danny Glover was a, he was a big old dude, a big old Jake, man. Matter of fact, I think Danny Glover is the, uh, is the dude that played, uh, uh, was the dude that played Predator. I may be wrong. And that was a big old, that was a big old dude, man. Anyway, Salakia. Let's see here. Uh, is Mel Gibson making a documentary about, about child SEX trafficking? Yep. See, that's the, that's what I made that correlation to. Yeah, I think he's the one. That actually is making the documentary about, you know, that that documentary that the, that that devil that played Passion of Christ, you know, he played uh, Yahweh Shai or Jesus, if you will. The same people, same the same kind of story. Right. That's what I, that's what I, I made that parallel right there. So Salakia for rambling too long. No longer for sale. Right. God's children are no longer for sale. Esau eat them, man. Baruch three and verse eight. But, you know, you can't expect nothing. You can't expect nothing more out of a damn devil. That's what he was made for, to deceive and be the damn devil he is. Baruch 3 and verse 8. Behold, we, who's we? His children are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which was us, which departed from the Lord our power. Okay? It's, it's, it's simple. It's simple. You know, and he didn't draw back. He have no pleasure in him. Right. So I'll leave it right there. You know, it just sort of pissed me off when that, that came up in my feed and I, and I was listening. And I said, wait a minute. What in the world did he just say? So I went back and recorded it. And hopefully this lesson was edifying real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. These devils, they know what's going on, man. And they, they keep they keep trying to slap us in the face. But, you know, you, your little uh, uh, enchantments and all that shit don't work against Jacob. There surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. That don't work with us anymore. You can't fool us. You can fool the two thirds, because all they want to hear is smooth things, prophesied deceits and lies. Right? Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from among us. That's what they want, because they're too, but they're too uh, wrapped up in this stupid ass world that has nothing nothing for us. Hmm. This is not our rest. Anyway, again, hopefully this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily, and a healthy shall of warm to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Pushing hard, man. Pushing hard. There's so many videos going out. It, it, it's, it's not the, it's not the, uh, um, the frequency of the videos. It's the frequency of the videos. You understand? It's the spirit and power of Yahweh about Shimmy Al Shai. It's got the brotherhood on fire. All right? And we can't and we won't be stopped through the spirit of Yahweh about Shimmy Al Shai. Every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA and Kwam Yasharala. Wa Ababa Ball. Boom. Shalom.